Thank you very much. We now come to the presentation of awards and recognition of deserving performances. And we start with the presentation of the Sports Awards, and I would like to invite Ms. Martha Foster to the stage, our District Education Officer. The first award is, the, is for basketball. The recipient of this award is a prophylactic athlete with impressive ball handling skills. His talent has made it possible to secure him wins in basketball. The award for basketball goes to Daniel Ali Schillingford. Cricket. Cricket seems to be in the blood of this student. Once he graces the field with his bat in hand, you are sure to be dazzled by his batting skills. His talent is unmatched by anyone else in the school. The award for cricket goes to Akim Ogis. Football. No one else comes close to his speed and his skill. He is a natural on the field. You will be impressed by his crafty footwork. The award for football goes to Jared Desir. Table tennis. This young man is not only talented, but committed to improving his skills. He has secured many wins for the school, both in single and double games. The award for table tennis goes to Joshua DeLima. Lawn tennis. His performance is a testimony of his brilliance in the game of tennis. He plays expertly and has become the best at the game at the school. The award for lawn tennis goes to Joey Angelino. Swimming. Though his competitors are few to none, this young man continues to outperform himself year and year after year and secures wins for his house. The award for swimming goes to Alandre Cross. And finally, volleyball. The difficult and technical game of volleyball is a challenge for many in the school. However, some individuals have a special skill set which makes it look effortless. 
He commands the volleyball court whenever he plays. The award for volleyball goes to Ethan DeVoe. Thank you, Ms. Foster. Let us please welcome Mr. Karu, physical education teacher, head of the physical education department to the stage. Sports at St. Mary's College is highlighted best in its track and field meets. Field Athlete of the Year and Track Athlete of the Year trophies are sponsored by the graduating class of 1995. The award for the field events goes to a young man who was committed to doing the best for his house. This year's award goes to Ansem Dostri of Rodney House. The award for track events goes to an athlete who, who from, from, from one has been perfecting his craft on the track. He illuminated the track for the inter-house and inter-secondary events. His efforts over the five years finally won his house the bragging rights of Champion House. The award goes to Miguel Shalry from Tapo House. Thank you very much, Mr. Kerr. We now continue with the presentation of certificates for national representation. And to present that, we have Mr. Nira Sugis, our vice principal. Many of our athletes are often selected to represent St. Lucia, either nationally or regionally. We consider this to be an incredible special achievement, and we recognize them with the following certificates. For cricket, we have Akim Ogis. <laughs> Jayan Buddha. Zidane Arthur, and Desni Gidhari. On to swimming. For swimming, we have Alandre Cross. <laughs> For 
for tennis, Joey Angeloni. For track and field, we have Miguel Chalery. And Kemuel Pelage. Thank you, Mr. Hogis. I invite Ms. Darling Anius, Assistant House Mistress for Tapo to the stage. <laughs> Most effective house captain. The 2020 Interhouse Track and Field Meet was extremely exciting and and competitive. A new chapter in sports began on that day. The track athletes of the winning house held nothing back to ensure that their house is placed back in the Hall of Fame. They are no longer the underdogs, but the champions of SMC Sports 2020. Their winning is due to the fantastic leadership of the house leaders. This year's most effective captain award goes to Caleb James of Sapper House. The vice captain of Tapo House sacrificed his skills and energies to ensure that his house took advantage of every possibility to earn points. For outstanding support in the leadership of Tapo House, the teachers of the house commemorate Tapo vice captain Tarek Charles for his exceptional work. The Vice Captain Trophy sponsored, is sponsored by Tapo House. Thank you, Ms. Anius. We now come to the Sportsman of the Year 2020. And for that, I would like to invite Mr. Karu, our head of the PE department. Sportsman of the Year 2020. The Sportsman of the Year is selected because of his cons consistency and extensive success in cricket, both locally and regionally. He has demonstrated class in scoring numerous centuries at the highest level. He captained the under-15 Windward Island team, played for the West Indies under-15 team, holds an under-15 national batting record, played at the senior national level, scored numerous centuries at the inter-school level, both for the under-15 and under-19 age categories, where St. Mary's College have won both titles. He has also participated in the marathon and runs on the track whenever his house needs him. 
the 2020 Sportsman of the Year Award goes to Akim Ogis. This trophy is sponsored by the Department of Youth Sports. Yes, he's of Tapo House. <laughs> Thank you. The Department of Youth Development and Sports. Yes, Thank you very much, Mr. Karu. I invite to the stage Dr. Dubusio, the PTA president of St. Mary's College. St. Mary's College believes in the holistic development of the students. Extracurricular activities play an important role in their overall growth. Today, we recognize students who contributed to the success of the work of their clubs. The awards are as follows. Chess, Windell Dupree. Environmental Club, Dimai Charles. <laughs> Interact Club Award goes to Moise Edmund. Musical band, Janelle Mathias. <laughs> Joanne Mathias, sorry. Per counseling, Irvin Herman. St. Mary's College Choir, Brandon Filgens. <laughs> Steel Pan Orchestra, Jaden Augustine. Thrift Corp Award goes to Khalil Alfos, and this award is sponsored by Janu Credit Union. Dr. Dubusa, could you remain on the stage? Thank you. We now go to awards for leadership of the school community. Most Effective Prefect 2019-2020. Out of the 36 young men who had the distinction of being selected as a school prefect, one prefect honored his role as a prefect and worked dutifully. He commanded the respect of the student body. He was a role model to his students. The award for Most Effective Prefect for 2020 goes to Jason Clark. We 
We recognize the student council representative for his work done in giving a voice to the students and playing a part as a member of the board of management of the school. This award goes to Daniel Ali Schillingford. Thank you, Dr. Dubisio. We now move on to the presentation of our subject prices. And for that, I'd like to invite Mr. Rohan Sion to the stage. <laughs> to determine the recipient of the subject awards. The grades for the three terms in Form 4 and the first term of Form 5 are used. The highest average mark per subject per student leads to the award. The award recipients are as follows. In the Arts Department, Theatre Arts, Eloa King. Visual Arts goes to Lil Sylvester. The award for music goes to Christian Lawrence. Now to the Social Sciences Department. Caribbean History, the award goes to Rishon Daniel. Don't go too far, Rishon. Social Studies, Rishon Daniel. The award for Geography, Marad Deligny. Human and Social Biology, Emmanuel Joseph. <laughs> TD and IT Department. The award for Technical Drawing goes to Johans Green. For information technology, the award goes to Marad Deligny.
Mathematics Department. The award for additional maths go to Yadu Uz, who is now, well, he's not present. He's absent today. So we'll move on. He's overseas, yes. The award for mathematics goes to Jade Antoine. English Department. The award for English language goes to Marad Deligny. The award for English literature goes to Demai Charles. In the PE department, the award for physical education goes to Joachim Henry. Thank you, Mr. Sion. I now invite Dr. Antonia Regis, head of the Modern Languages Department, to the stage. The award for French goes to Joey Angeloni. The award for Spanish goes to Dante Roseman. And most out please stay, Dante. You can see. Most outstanding modern language student is Dante Roseman. Thank you, Dr. Regis. Let's welcome business teacher, Mrs. Curly Nicholas. The award for economics goes to Jago Sheriki. <laughs> Principles of Accounts, Marad Deligny. Marad also receives the award for principles of business. 
and he's the most outstanding business student. Please stay. Murad Dilikni is the most outstanding business student. This business award is sponsored by Janu Credit Union. Thank you, Mrs. Nicholas. Let's welcome the head of the Department for Science, Mr. Shahid Mears. The Award for Agricultural Science, Emmanuel Joseph. For biology, Rishon Daniel. <laughs> Integrated Science, Ronil Eudoxy. Chemistry and Physics, Yadu Uz, he's not present, and as well as he's the most outstanding science student, Yadu Uz. Thank you, Mr. Mayors. We now come to the major individual awards. most affable student. For this award, I'm going to call on Callum James. Callum is the captain of the Tapo House, Students Council Rep for 5 out of 15, and the second place choice for the most affable student. The most affable student is an award chosen by the students. You're given the award, eh? You're given the award. <laughs> this is an award chosen by the students. The students recognize this individual as good-natured, easy to speak, and most friendly. The students voted via secret ballot, and the most popular student was identified the most affable student chosen by the graduating class of 2020 goes to Shomari Nove. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. You can go. <laughs> we now move on to the principal award. For that, we will now call Mr. Howell, our principal, to give this award and the description of the award. The principal's award is usually given to a student who is very cooperative, who does what is expected of him on a daily basis, attend to their, to their schoolwork, is part of the, the life of the school, who shows leadership qualities. This year, it was very difficult to select a student, but after much deliberation, the principal's award for 2020 will go to none other than Krumah Herald. Yes. That's it. 
Thank you, Mr. Howell. We move on now to the Brother Cyril Award for the Most Improved Student. I invite to the stage Father Cleophas Joseph. The Most Improved Student Award goes to the student showing the most dramatic improvement either in terms of behavior or academic achievement or both while at St. Mary's. The teachers agreed that the most improved student is Yannick Nicholas. Thank you, Father. The award for the most disciplined student. This award has been and continues to be sponsored yearly by the Honorable Stevenson King. I invite Honorable Steven K Stevenson King, Parliamentary Representative for North Castries, to the stage. This award goes to the student who consistently displayed the following attributes. A, politeness, honesty and integrity, excellence in deportment and grooming, punctuality for school and other events, cooperation with staff and other students, genuineness and consistency in effort at schoolwork. The students selected as the most disciplined for 2020 is Jade Antoine. Thank you, Mr. King. The Spirit of St. Mary's Award. For this award, which is sponsored by the Bothan Jeu Foundation, Inc., Bothan Jeu was the Spirit of St. Mary's in 2008. I'd like to invite Mrs. Allison Jeu from the Bothan Jeu Foundation, Inc., to the stage. Your Excellency, Sir Emmanuel Neville Snack, Honorable Stevenson King, Parliamentary Representative for Castries North, Principals Don Howell and former Principal Mr. Sion, Dr. Meyer, and other invited guests. I wish to acknowledge the presence of two directors in the persons of Mr. Bertram Jean and Ms. Desma Charles, and on behalf of the Beaufamjeu Foundation, to let you know that the Board of Directors has taken the decision to award annually the Spirit of St. Mary's Award. As we've been told, Beaufam was the recipient of this award in 2008 and to continue his legacy. Among other things, we wish to provide assistance to the St. Mary's College, which is his alma mater. So along with the trophy, we will be making, giving a check of $1,000 to the recipient of the Beaufort of the 
Spirit of St. Mary's Award. I think I saw my principal coming for that award, you know, but not sure. Let's move along. The criteria for this award are as follows. The student must have demonstrated the normal qualities of perseverance and resilience in challenging situations. He must have been involved in various aspects of social life in the school. He must have been exemplary as a school officer or leader. And he must have been able to motivate and inspire other students to uphold the ideals of the school. The teachers met and voted virtually. The young man who was, who was selected displayed the attributes described perhaps as early as Form 1. He was also a strong leader, highly resistant to negative influences around him, and throughout his years at St. Mary's, never lost focus of what it takes to be a true and proud ambassador of the school. This year, the Spirit of St. Mary's Award goes to Elwa King. I would also like to invite the rest of the Botham Inc. and family to come up and take a picture with this first awardee at this level. Thank you, Mrs. Jha and family. We move on now to the presentation of overall academic excellence. The Honor Awards. I invite Dr. Fiona Meyer, Chief Education Officer, and Mr. Howell to the stage. The next four awards are known as the Merit Awards. They are purely academic. The students with averages of 80% and more for Form 4 and Form 5 are recognized. This year, we recognize these students. Four students achieve honor averages of 80% and more. The names and averages are as follows. Fourth place, with an average of 80.60% is Jago Sheriki. Third place with an average of 82.47% is Marad Deligny. Second place with an average of 82.68% is Yadu Us. He's absent. Our second place trophy is sponsored by the Parent Teacher Association. Thank you, Dr. Fiona, Fiona Meyer, uh, for this presentation of awards. Mr. Howell? Can you remain on the stage? Let's give a round of applause to Dr. Fiona Maya.
And now, the Reverend Louis Tapo Award for Academic Excellence. This trophy is sponsored by the Chairman of the Board of Management of SMC. I invite Dr. Anthony Bousquet, Mr. Anthony Bousquet to the stage. We just awarded three of the top four academic performers of 2020. Now we recognize the top performer. This young man has already been identified for his academic brilliance. With an overall average of 82.94%, our top academic for 2020 is Rishon Daniel. Thank you, Mr. Buske and Mr. Howell. The next award is the Reverend Br Brother Canis Collin Memorial Trophy for the Student of the Year. This trophy is sponsored by Mrs. Prisca Ariste Delis, whose son Jibari Delis was the 2019 Spirit of St. Mary's. To present the award, I'd like to invite the Governor General to the stage. Now we recognize the student who had the most significant impact on student life at St. Mary's, at least over the last three years. Our choice for the Student of the Year 2020 combined the important areas of academic excellence and leadership. Our Student of the Year is the most humble and honest. He has served as the head prefect of the graduating year and is a silent force to be reckoned with. Our Student of the Year 2020 and Valedictorian goes to Demai Charles. Demai. We will now have a special photo to be taken with the student of the year and the Governor General and Mr. Howell standing in front of the student of the year board. Demai also receives a copy of the book History of SMC by Calix George. This donation was made through by Ms. Zilta George. I'd like to thank the Governor General and Mr. Howell as they leave the stage.
I'm just stepping with you. And in doing so, I have decided to give to the student of the year a small token of $1,000. And in, and in delivering this token, I would like to leave with him this prayer. Calm the heat of your anger, O oh Lord. I love you. I have sinned. I will never sin again. I thank you very much, Your Excellency, for the contribution to our Student of the Year. And I also want to thank the Blue from Jure Foundation for the contribution to our Student Spirit of St. Mary's. Let's give them a round of applause. But at this point, I would like to announce that I'm receiving donations to go with the, the contribution given by His Excellency. So, Dimai, you should expect $100 more to that donation. And Mr. Sion is contributing towards that cause as well. So, let's give Mr. Sion a round of applause. Do I hear Mr. Buski? Mr. Buski as well. Madam D.U. as well. Thank you very much for your contributions. <laughs> This sounded more like an auction, eh, by the way. But. <laughs> but we are very gracious for the, for the donations and the awards, especially this time. And, I mean, for all that has been given so far, we know how the ec economic times are. We'd like to give one more round of applause for all that has been given. <laughs> we now like to invite our valedictorian, Demai Charles, student of the year, to deliver his valedictorian address. As expressed by Kofi in her song, Toast, gratitude is a must. And so I am moved to begin by expressing profound gratitude to the Almighty for allowing this day, our graduation day, which just a few months ago almost seemed like an impossibility to actually become a reality. I must also express immense thanks to the principal, vice principal, teachers, parents, well-wishers, and certainly you, my fellow graduates, for your contribution and sterling efforts in putting this program in motion. Graduation exercises are always memorable, but somehow, in these unprecedented times, I feel that this one carries even more profound sentimental value for us. I am humbled and honored to be selected as the one to represent the 2020 graduating class and to provide a snapshot of our years at this institution. September 7, 2015, 
This marked the formal commencement of our journey at St. Mary's College. Here we stood, some of us a mere couple feet in height above the ground, some in pockets of primary school friendships and some alone. One thing was certain, we were all apprehensive and anxious about what laid before us in this new environment which would be, which would be called home for the next five years. Within weeks on this compound, some facts began to resonate in our mental faculties. Number one, can anyone still hear Mr. Sion saying that we were the cream of the crop and that at all times we ought to behave as such? Number two, or maybe you remember him referencing the school's motto, Sumum Atengutur Nintendo, the top is rich by striving, and that at no time should we settle into complacency. And number three, can anyone remember assembly in this very hall where Mr. Sion would remind us that we are about to sing the school's anthem and that he expected us to assume proper posture as we bellowed the words together, as we bellowed the words, step together, play the game. I will admit that we had our fair share of moments when we were labeled as the noisiest bunch ever to land at SMC, or the most unsettled bunch of boys ever seen, or the most playful and perhaps even troublesome boys, all of which landed some more than others moments on the famous bench outside of the principal's office. But when our hormones had finally normalized, our height a significant distance above the ground, and our voices taken on a deeper note, we transitioned from being as previously described and settled into forming, forming meaningful Sumerian friendships and registering our own fair share of memories at this institution. As a result, we can look back and salute the sterling contributions of individuals like Caleb James and Tarek Charles who championed the cause and led Tapo House to register a phenomenal win at our school's 2020 sports meet. Anyone who has been around SMC knows how much of a surprise this was, right? We salute the athletic prowess of Miguel Sharon of Tapo House, who cemented his position as the sprint champion of his time. We applaud Alexander Jabati's arm strength as year after year he participated in field events for his house and school. Talk about dribbling a ball and you must reference Joseph and Tijani as they always seem to expertly dribble to goal. And if we had to salute the footballer of our time, would anyone deny the skills that Akil displayed? Isn't it funny how much Akim got on Mr. Girao's last move, but when cricket was mentioned, the two were top buddies? And just in case you thought that we were all about sports, Christian and Brandon proved that we were also blessed with singing talent. As we call it a wrap on our stay at this institution, we have missed and will continue to miss the sound that only Mr. Sion Shoes can make on the corridor. We should evoke the shout, Messie, Messie, Sion, Sion, Sion coming. We shall miss cricket moments with Mr. Howell, where he proved that he had just enough skill to bowl a batsman. We shall miss Mr. Ogis holding the fort with prayers and more prayers. Mr. Girao, with his blatant statements as well as his expressed confidence in being able to defend himself in any fight. We shall miss Mrs. Bissett's loud shrills either when she wanted to get some geography content across or when she wanted to remind us that Rodney House was in the house. We shall always remember Ms. Marshall's constant call. Sumerians, Sumerians, the rolled eyes from Ms. Anius, the form one finger countdown to settle down from Mr. Jabatis, and the symbolic authoritarian pose of Mr. Berkeley. My fellow graduates, this is it. This is the end of our journey on the VG Peninsula. We have many reasons to feel proud. We have persisted. 
defied the odds like COVID-19 like COVID and risen to challenges like the COVID-induced online modality of CSEC. But is this all for us? I dare say not at all. I challenge each one of you to accept the fact that our lives have really just begun to take shape. Graduation is not the end. It is just the beginning. Let us therefore live here as young Sumerians of integrity. I charge you with the words of Michael Josephson to take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. I thank you. Thank you, Dimai. I call on the stage Lil Sylvester to deliver the vote of thanks. Let's all welcome him. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It was Zig Zigard who said, gratitude is the healthiest of all human emotions. The more we express gratitude for what we have, the more likely you will have even more to express gratitude for. As we close the final chapter of our lives at St. Mary's, we, the students, all share the overwhelming feeling of gratitude for a successful five years and a graduation ceremony. Special thanks to our Governor General, His Excellency Sir Neville Snack, the Mayor of Castries, His Worship Peterson Francis, the Parliamentary Representative Honorable Stevenson King, the Chief Educational Officer Dr. Fiona Meyer, the Education Officer for District 2, Ms. Martha Foster, for making time from your busy schedules to join us in our celebrations today. To our esteemed guest speaker, Mr. D Mr. Dylan Paul, your words of wisdom have inspired us to continue our journey. So to you, so to you we say muchas gracias. Heartfelt thanks to the Botham Jure Foundation, Department of Youth Development and Sports, Ms. Prisca Delis, the Board of Management, the Parent Teacher Association, and the Class of 1995 for the generous donation of tokens and trophies that were well received by our awardees. We may always look back and reminisce on today's proceedings, thanks to NTN for capturing every moment of this ceremony on film. To all who impacted our daily transformation into the young men who are seated here today, we say a resounding thank you. Mr. Rowan Sion, for being such a great principal for the first three years of our school life. To Mr. Don Howell, for his guidance in the last two. All the teachers who spent years of their lives dealing with us, I thank you and also apologize for the stress we caused you all. All the invited guests and well-wishers who came to celebrate with us, thank you as well. The planning committee, bravo, a job well executed. Last but surely not least, kudos to our parents and guardians who supported and pushed us on since we first got to the school. All your efforts are appreciated and, behalf, and on behalf of your son or ward, I sincerely would like to say thank you. Again, thank you to everyone, and good night. Thank you, Lil. We now get to the graduates' pledge. And for that, I'd like to invite the head prefect of 2019-2020, Demai Charles, to the stage to lead the graduates as they read the graduates' pledge. I'll also ask him to walk with his program 
and invite the students to turn to page 19 of the program. All graduates, please stand. Right hand on your left breast. And repeat after me. I am only one. But I am one. I can't do everything. But I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. What I ought to do, I will do. By the grace of God, I will be a man. Dearest Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to count the cost. To fight and not to heed the wounds. To toil and not to seek for rest to labor and to look and to look for no reward save that of knowing that i do your holy will amen thank you dimai students please remain standing can everybody stand as well I invite Father Cleophas Joseph, school chaplain, to the stage to lead us in the concluding prayers. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. Let us pray. Father, as this present phase of our life slips away, we stand at the threshold of an unknown and uncertain future with a new freedom and responsibilities. Continue to be with us, O Lord, and give us the grace so that we might be equipped to face the challenges to our freedom, wise in its use, protected from its misuse, and above all, truly free to follow closely your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who alone can make us free. Our Lady and our Patroness, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father Cleophus. If we can all remain standing as we now sing the St. Mary's College anthem, and for that I'd like to invite the principal, house captains, and vice captains to the stage for the singing of the school anthem. Our vice and house captains, please come to the stage. Gentlemen, let us maintain, let us maintain the, let us maintain the, the proper posture for the singing of our school song. As you would have heard, we have some accompaniment, and so we will be guided by the accompaniment. Let us, 
Look straight ahead of you to the bright futures that you have. Let us stand tall, please. Let's go, Mr. Hutchinson. Let's go. Step together, play the game. This will bring St. Mary's fame. Unity will make us strong. Love will guide our steps along. Love indeed our lives will fill. Love for God which gets not weather. Fools might left, right. We Samaritans work together. Steady boys and step together. In the past we've made our name, said Lucia Sterling, sons proclaim. That said Mary taught them well, each is dead to it can tell. Now we'll find still for the play of our past and wreck not weather, for might left, right, we Samaritans work together, steady boys and step together, step together, fight as one, seek no rest till you have done, for St. Mary's all you can, prove your work and be a man. Thus will all unite and churn Cowardly deeds and wreck not weather Foes fight, left, right All Samarians work together Steady boys and step together Give yourselves a round of applause, gentlemen Preachers, hip 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 Hey, Pep. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Please, please remain standing. Um, gentlemen. If you'll please remain standing as we allow for the exit of our Governor General. And we thank him so much for attending our graduation exercise. Gentlemen on the stage, you may now return to your seats. I'd like to ask our guests to sit, our guardians, if you can please remain standing as we prepare to leave. We now ask for our steel pan music to begin as we wait for our gradients to exit. <laughs> gradients are to proceed to the main building for refreshments.
It's now time for refreshment. So we ask that all specially invited guests to remain seated in the hall. The parents should proceed to the tent on the basketball court. I'd also like to remind everyone of our safety protocols. Make sure that you are wearing your mask, not forming large groups, keeping six feet distance. I'll also like to inform parents that there is a limited time for photos. And as we wish to create a safe environment, uh, please do so as we have a time enclosure of the school. There's a set time for us to tune.